Welcome, everybody, to the latest edition of the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and today we're going to look at LSU outside linebacker Arden Key. Here's a player I know I was very excited to see uh, this summer, a guy that's made an instant impact since his true freshman year at LSU in the SEC. Tall, long, explosive athlete. And uh, he's, you know, a guy that a lot of people thought was going to be the, you know, number one player in this draft class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at some of the different things that you see with Arden Key, whether it's the good or the bad, uh, and then kind of get into my overall thoughts on him. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just kind of show you a play that he made. Um, here he is lined up on the outside. Uh, he's playing, you know, pretty much the seven technique, shading the outside shoulder of the tight end. And he is, uh, Alabama's going to run a kind of a zone read. And a lot of times these, these edge players, they're expected to kind of maybe slow play it, maybe uh, slide down the line and make them make a decision and then react. But the thing I like about Key is he's so explosive and he's, he's, he's a fluid athlete he's able to attack and make a play. So as we watch this, he's able to shoot through this gap, and he attacks that mesh point, seeing the ball get into the running back's chest, and he just attacks, puts his shoulder down, ends up getting a uh, pretty big tackle for a loss, uh, pinning Alabama uh, up against their own goal line. So uh, just really kind of shows the aggressiveness that he has, the ability to go in, and make some plays. Uh, now, one of the questions that you have about Key is how does he do against the run? And so if we look here, this might be one of your concerns you have. Uh, so here we have Key. He's going to be on the left-hand side, once again, about that seven technique. He's standing. And Alabama's going to run towards his side, and he's going to get engaged with this tight end. You think, hey, he's got a tight end, he's going to use his length, going to take on the block, and then be able to quickly disengage and help make a play. But what happens is he get, kind of just stands there. And so if you look back at that again, right there, right here. Let's get that, sorry about that. He kind of just takes the play off. He, he engages, he sets that edge. And the running back's able to just kind of burst through here and get a touchdown. And if you look right here, it's a 7 to nothing game in the start of the second quarter. Um, if they're able to hold them to maybe a field goal there, um, they're only down 10 at that point, not 14. So that's some of the concerns you may have. But then you say that, and then we go a little bit further. And it's really kind of the next play that he's in there. We see him on the right-hand side once again about this seven technique. And he's going to take on this the right tackles, the right guards pulling. Pulling down the line. Uh, after seeing that last play, you might think, oh, he's done for. But Key's able to take on that block, keep his outside shoulder free, and he's able to go out and help make a tackle for a loss on the quarterback. So kind of one of those things. you got a question, you know, he, you see one play where he's not maybe giving up the best effort. Another play, he's, you know, he's shown the ability to take on a pulling lineman and, and still make a play. So what? How how good is the motor there? Maybe uh, rushing the passer. Um, this is where he's going to make his money. And as we see here in this play, he's going to be on the the left hand side, about five technique ish, um, and he's going to rush. And um, at this left, ta this right tackle. And so as he comes, I'm just going to watch him full. Kind of has a little a hesitation move and a um, kind of like a hesitation, quick lateral move to get around that left right tackle. Uh, he doesn't finish with the sack, but he's able to chase him out and force a pass. If we look at that again, okay, he's attacking, and he kind of goes right at him, and he makes that hesitation in a hot move, allows him to beat that right tackle around the edge. Uh, I didn't see in this game, he didn't really bend the edge as much as you would have thought. As good of an athlete as he is, he didn't really sink those hips and bend. And there was too many uh, instances of him rushing. So he's up here, this spot right here, 
where he just runs and he just gets pushed right past the pocket. So a lot of what you see with Arden Key is these inconsistencies. He looks like a stud guy that you're going to take in the top 10 one play, and then a couple plays later, he's not putting up the effort, and he's getting pushed around. Uh, I like Key a lot. You wonder, you know, this year he had issues with injuries. He had he took a leave of an absence from the team during the summer. Um, but before that, he seemed like he was on, on trajectory. So do you trust, hey, his first two years he was good, we, we're going to take him, and we're going to see this potential. Or do you kind of get a little worried and say, hey, is, is he the elite pass rusher that we, that we think he is? Is he going to be able to be counted on? Right? I still think he gets picked in that top 15. Uh, I'm starting to think maybe he slides back a little bit. We've already seen Bradley Chubb kind of go ahead of him. Uh, Chubb's probably going to be a uh, consensus top five pick. Then there's that gap in between where you have the Clellan Farrells, the Arden Keys, the Harold Landrys. Be really anxious to see as we get closer to the draft where those three guys fit. I like all three, all three of them, but you might start to see Key sliding back a little bit in that. I like him, uh, but I think he's going to have to deal with those and and how he does in the combine interviews, the combine testing um, could really be whether he is a top 10 pick or maybe he's only a top 20 or just a first round pick. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, the best way to get these is to subscribe to me on uh, I, on YouTube. They'll get uh, sent directly to you in emails. Uh, also, uh, I post them on NFLDraftGeek.com. So if this is where you're watching it, keep following here. Um, if you're not going to NFL Draft Geek for all your draft news, make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram at draft underscore Brian or on the NFL Draft Geeks Twitter page, uh, at NFL Draft Geek. I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.